Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from the ECF Forums. How you guys doing today? Let me tell you, it's been a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous Monday. Let me tell you, it's been good, it's been good. The rebels are kicking, rebels are kicking. I tell you, they should name a football team after the Red Bulls. Forget about it. They'll win every Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They better check them out, not for steroids, but for Red Bull abuse. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, I've been vaping Odie all day today. I definitely need to switch the coils soon. Um, well, listen, I got something to say. Um, yesterday, I was uh, watching Vape TV, and the uh, highlight in the chat was is that, you know, some folks want to try rebuildable atomizers. I suggested Odysseus. I suggested Penelope. You know, my sweet queen. Um, so, and you know what? You know what the responses I got? Well, they don't know if they're going to like it. What do you mean? It's phenomenal. Forget about it. But, okay. Someone brought up and they said, well... If you don't, if you don't know, before you do that investment, try a Phoenix rebuildable atomizer. Being that it is a rebuildable atomizer and it's uh, very, very affordable. I mean, it's like under twenty bucks. You know, COV has them up for sale. Um, and then somebody said, "Well, you get a lot of burnt taste with that." Well, okay. Um, you want to know a secret? You just got to know how to do the coils right. That's about it. So, I want to be fair about this. I want to be to the point that, you know, somebody that's really, really looking into the, getting into an Odysseus and Penelope or an Iati, um, you have to know how to make these coils, okay? It's pretty much the same um, with a little tweaks here and there, depending on what atomizer. But on the Phoenix, um, I do have it. Uh, I do have it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, which I'm going to try first time with you guys, I'm going to create a dual coil, and I'm going to call it Zeus. Okay, so now this is going to be very, very close, but not the same. It's no way the same as an Odysseus or Penelope. There's no way. I mean, you have flow control, you got air control, you got a lot of advantages. That's why versus the price, it reflects with all the bells and whistles that you get on this. But as a starting point, I repeat myself, as a starting point to see if you like it, Penelope behave. She's getting jealous. Okay. Um, don't worry, I'll vape you. Okay, so she's looking at me funny. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these dual coils. We're going to put two 3.5 wicks in there, um, and it's going to be similar to the dual Highlander coils, but it's Zeus because there is no non-resistance wires applied. And I will keep it at very, very, very low ohms, at possibly 0.7 ohms, okay? Running in one battery at 3.7 okay fully charged 4.2 volts okay now you will get a very hot vape moist moist vape no metal taste that's the way how the coil the way i'm going to engineer these coils the way i'm going to do these coils is going to give you those results so no metal taste it's going to be extremely juicy it's going to be very 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 almost not the same as Odie and penelope the only difference is is that Odie and Penelope, you get air control. You get juice control, okay? You get a lot of bells and whistles that you do not get out of a Phoenix Atomizer. But to see if you like it, you first got to put these coils on. Because if you enjoy this, forget about it. You're going to be getting this, and you're going to be getting Penelope. Or you'll be probably be getting the iAddy. Or you're going to be getting the new rebuildable Atomizer, the Thaka, okay? I mean, that is going to be phenomenal when Emil releases it. But I'm only doing this as a favor 
for the community because, you know, they mentioned, like, how can they get it that they won't get metal taste and um, to get some more heat. Now, being aware that you're limited by one hole, you are not going to be getting, um, you know, the results that you would get from here, but you get a taste, a taste of what you what what you be getting even more, like 20 times more. So, you know, that's all what I can say. I mean, I don't want to, I hate to compare them to, because, dude, I mean, you're talking about something that's like under 20 bucks versus something that's over $100, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really fair. I mean, build quality, bells and whistles, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how you can use this full to its potential so that you could find out if you really, really do enjoy a rebuildable atomizer. If you really do, I strongly advise you you would want to get an Odi or a Penelope. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Wait till you see the results, what I have in store for you. So with that, I am going to show you how to build these Zeus coils. It comes with a, with a coil. I kind of removed that because it was really, to tell you the truth, it was crap. So, I mean, if you look at a little bit closely, you got nuts, screws. Focus. There we go. So you got Phillips screws, okay? Very, very tiny, okay? And the way you put the resistance wire in, um, instead of coiling it around, there's actually a precision holes right here. You see that? That's one right here, and there's another one right there too, okay? It's like speaker-wise, you put it in, but you gotta screw it down. So, For this build, um, what I had in mind was, um, I'm going to create, see if it works, uh, first time with you guys, and I'm going to call it the Zeus Coils. Yeah. What we're going to do is, we're going to do a dual coil on here, and um, we're going to do a dual coil, and I am still envisioning the wick, how I'm going to situate it because I like to have possibly plenty of uh, strands going right here in the center because as you're dripping the juice it's gonna fall down and it's gonna hold it it shouldn't leak because if you look at the seal um, it's like the um, the did from Genesis okay so it shouldn't leak um, unless you, you know, put it upside down, obviously it's, it'll leak that way, but, um, I'm, I'm going to try a new coil with you guys and see if it's going to work. If it does, it should be very, very low ohms. So, um, let's get ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use 34 gauge, uh, where is it? Use 34 gauge, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two decent pieces. I'm going to use 3.5 wick. Okay, so I'm going to about cut from here about this distance because it's going to be like a dual wick. Okay. It's a cleaner cut with the uh, nail clipper. Awesome. Now, I'm going to cut this in half. Clip it in half. Like so. This one we'll put on the side. And this one we're going to de-strand. Alright, we're going to have four strands. There's a total of eight strands. So as you destrand it, like so, just count to four and rip them apart, just like so, okay? So what I'm going to do is, this is the first four strands right here, and I'm going to loop four loops. That's it, just four loops. All right, I'm going to do the same exact thing for the second one. Oh, real good. 
Okay. Here's my other wire. Four loops. Okay. So we have two now. Okay. So what we're going to do next, what we'll do next is uh, we're going to snip the sides like so. And yes, this is a little similar to my Highlander so style. So just to make it neat, we're going to cut the excess off. So we have like little bow ties. Do the same. Just like so. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to panic. Nah. He's okay. Mm. It's gonna need some more juice a little later. But okay, getting back to this. See these two holes? Sometimes that little plastic, there's like a little rubber plastic right here that you may need to push down a little so you can see the holes. It happens, so you may have to just push it down a little. I just did it for one of them because I saw the hole on this side, but I didn't see it on the other side. So I just had to push it down a little, that's all. So now what we're going to do is, okay, so now we're going to mount the first wire in, okay? The four loops are where they should be inside. See that? They're inside. They're not sticking on the outer side. They've got to be inside. Important. Now, after you measured that, you may want to slice off the little bit of the fuzzies on the side. See that? Right there. Now, you want to make sure that the coils are not touching any of the metal, in which they're not. You see that? The four loops are right there in the center, and it's just the wick that's touching on the outer portions. That's it. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to take this wick. Now what you do is, you cut about this length now. And what I'm doing is I'm opening it up a little. The destraining process, you see how it looks? There is no coil exposed. None. Okay? Now you stick this part inside the tank. You can use this. Or any flat screwdriver will work pliers, anything really. You just want to stick it in because this is going to act um, to pull the juice to keep the wick uh, saturated. I'm tightening up one end and I'm holding it with my nail. Then the other one I yank and I hold it with my finger like so. So I got both wires with pressure. So now I can close that screw. There we go, it's tight. Okay? They're not going anywhere. Now for the other two. Okay? Okay. So
So far, I'm expecting, I'm inspecting the coils. Make sure they're not touching. They shouldn't be touching. And the way we did this is we put the first coil on one end here, and then I turned it around and put the other coil right on the opposite end. And then the wick is just going pinched between them. And it's going down to the uh, the tank. And some of the wick, as you can see, is sticking out from the side, which I will fix when I loop it, when I loop when I prime it up with the juice, then I'm able to stick it in a little. Or matter of fact, I'll just trim a little on the sides. That's the first coil. Right there, four loops. The other coil is submerged under that wick, okay? But it's using both channels on both sides. <laughs> Some COV, Y4. Ooh. Gotta shake it first. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure it's all soaked up. And remember, I added that, it's really two wicks. I just deassembled one of the wicks, four strands, make a coil, and then the other remaining four strands, I made the second coil. Then this, the second wick, the whole wick, I used. So it would act as a, uh, to saturate the juice, any of the juice that falls down, and also to cover the coils from preventing it to touch, okay? And you can use this as a drip, okay? I mean, you could add some more juice if you wish, but it, it's, it's not even going to be needed. So... What we're going to do now is put this on. Well, before we put that on, let's fire it up. Looks good. Let me add a few more drops. All right. So I'm pushing the wick a little up. Screw it. Okay. Put the cap on, the tip on. Now let's let's see how she produces. Wow. The hit, my lord, the hit. Dude, I was just using 16 milligrams. Wow, I'm a, li I'm a little dizzy right now, hold on. Oh, smack, hold on. Not bad. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, I have been pressing this button and leaving it pressed. Okay? Check. The only thing is, you may not see it because of the clouds of smoke. Mmm. Mmm. No metal taste. Not yet. Mmm. Look at that. Wow. Let me tell you something. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Lift the cap. Drip. I just put some juice in there. Believe me, that wick is going to soak it up really quick. Now, let's hit this again. 
Mm. Wow. This is my Zeus coils, baby. Zeus. Okay. And it is kicking the M-A-S-S -S out of this Phoenix Atomizer. Let me tell you, people, let me tell you, it has a great taste. You want heat, you're getting heat. Let me tell you. Mm. Now, let's see if you hear this. You hear that? Because I hear it. It sounds like a duel to me. Let me open this up. And check it out. Not even burnt. Let me auto focus it for you. It's not even burnt. I'll press the power button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, folks. Let let let's let let's um let's agree on this. I haven't seen anybody vape longer than ten seconds, let alone twenty seconds. And as you saw, there was no coils lit. And it saturated the whole wick again. Okay? Look at that. You see that? It's still saturated. I'll press it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And still, no coils lit. And nothing is burnt. Nothing is burnt. Okay, so what can I tell you? You know what I can say? Zeus coils, baby. Zeus. I named this Zeus. Okay, so I'm just going to wet it because I want to vape a little more. Because I am so impressed on the results that I'm getting for a really, really extremely affordable... Rebuildable atomizer. I am very, very blown away by this. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I, I just can't believe it. Wow. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Almost burnt my tongue on that one. Almost burnt the tongue. I put the tongue a little bit close to the mouthpiece and the, the hot was like, wow. But again, very, very hot. Two coils. Let me see. Let me see if it lets me check the ohms. Out of curiosity, I, I would love to know where I'm at with the ohms on this. 0.8 ohms. Uh, I keep moving. Point 0.8 ohms. Okay. Point 0.8 ohms and she kicks with a lot of power. Mm. Now let me um, go on my pen because she's already jealous, you know. Mm. Now, as I was saying, folks, um, it's not bad. What it produces out of this Phoenix Addy 
is not bad at all for a first timer that wants to get into a rebuildable atomizer and they're not sure uh, to go with Penelope, Odysseus, Ayati, or the Ithaca. It's a good entry level. You know, it's under 20 bucks. Can't beat that. I mean, I spend more money on lunch, right? So, but if you do those coils the way I showed you, you will get a, a really good results compared to Penelope and Odysseus. If you just do one coil, it, it, there's no comparison at all because the heat is not there. The You'll get metal taste, okay? Um, so if you do the Zeus coils that I mentioned, then it will be in good competition with the dual Highlander. But again, like I said, it's hard to compare because it's it's under 20 and this is over 100 and you get a lot of bells and whistles. You know, you get juice control, okay? You get air control, okay, well, on the GGTS. Also, you get a nice big size of a tank that you fill up with juice, okay? So you control the amount of juice that flows into your coil, which you can't do on here, but that's okay. That's okay because... You know, I'm just showing you that you can get this to produce um, almost, almost towards what you would get out of a um, Odysseus or Penelope. Um, this is this is the device that can um, either you're gonna like or you're not going to like. And if you do like it, then you will be amazed at what you can do and produce out of a Penelope. Odysseus, I Addy, or even the brand new Ithaca, you know, so I hope this helps, you know, the vaping TV community, um, if you guys really want to get into a, a, a drip uh, atomizer, and a rebuildable atomizer, and not sure of shelling out the money on a high quality, atom, you know, rebuildable atomizer like the GG product, but at least you get a taste of what you can get. You know, that's that's really what this video was emphasized for. I wanted to help out folks to produce more or less similar results on here, um, but by paying like under $20 to see if you like it. If you enjoy it, like I said, you want to make the investment. It's a quality investment that you will enjoy. I mean, mmm. You see that? Mm. No metal taste at all. At all. And the moisture that I get on here is stronger than here. Okay? I get more moisture. I get more heat than here. Even though I do produce it, but it's not the same. It's, it's like night and day of a difference, okay? So if you really do like the results that you get out of here, believe me when I tell you, you are going to fall in love with something like this as well as the Odysseus. If you don't, believe me, I'll buy it from you because I love this stuff. Let me tell you, it is phenomenal. Mm. I mean, it produces good vapor, but... It's not the same amount of moisture because remember this is I fill up the juice all the way to the top on the tank and I use the juice control which you don't have on here. So but I just wanted to like I said I don't want to beat a dead horse. I just wanted to you know it is it is a pretty decent device. It's a good device to start to see if you like rebuildable atomizers, okay? So I hope you do when you try this, I'm telling you. And if you do own one and you're getting metal taste, do the Zeus uh, coils. Believe me, it's night and day of a difference. You will love it, okay? With that, peace out. God bless. Happy vaping. Check you out later.